A lot of work in here. It's clear that while the waters have receded and more than three months have passed since the November floods, the people of northern Whatcom County are still very much underwater. They're crying, frustrated, angry, um, and as much as we're trying to help people, there's always more to do. Nearly 2,000 buildings in the flood zone were damaged when the Nooksack River spilled over its banks and into homes and businesses. Many people moved in with friends and family, but more than 100 others are still living in motels or rentals. Emergency officials believe some of those folks won't be able to get back into their homes until the end of this year. Making matters worse, the state emergency funds paying for that housing runs out at the end of April, leaving all those people wondering what comes next. A lot of people just don't feel safe right now, and I think that's what we're seeing is people don't have the confidence to move back into their homes, especially for the rest of this month because we're still in flood season. Flood victims are facing a perfect storm of a wet winter, a lack of workers and materials due to the ongoing pandemic, and now price gouging. Officials say certain contractors have been charging double the normal cost for flood repair. Some have been taking people's money and not doing the work at all. It's kind of sad that those people come out of the woodwork to you try to take advantage of people and uh, in their time of need and weakness. Since the floods first hit just before Thanksgiving, donations of food and money have been pouring into this community. And with money for housing about to dry up, outsiders will likely be asked to help again through the Whatcom Strong Relief Site. For now, the struggle continues. Just come to realize we just got to take one day at a time and help out as much as we can. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.